just horrible, man. But I'm gonna get through it. And once you and once you're going through a path in life, man, that is, you're struggling, you feel like you're struggling, and you ended up getting through it later on, it makes you that much more happier that you continue to fight through it and you continue to persevere. And uh, you know, you fought through it, you got through it, and you move on with your life, man. So. persevered we kept on going and just like I always tell you guys man there's always a light at the end of that tunnel two years ago man it was probably the deepest darkest time of my life and uh, to be honest man I've been through a lot in this lifetime for being uh, 23 years old be 24 in June your boys getting old but uh, yeah, man, I've been through you know a lot of hardships, a lot of struggles, and uh, two years ago was one of the deepest, darkest times of my life. Filming that video, you know, you guys really don't understand the huge, the whole you know thing about it. Um, but yeah, we made it through, man. Um, I'm happier, you know, most more than happy than I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm lost for words. I'm most happy than I've ever been. Um, we made it through, uh, I'm scot-free, clear of everything, ready to go, um, car's ready, man, I just sold the F-150, kind of sad about it, kind of not, you know, because it wasn't generating any views, it wasn't making any money for the channel, so if it don't make money, it don't make sense, um, I'm ready to go full force on this car, man, ready to, you know, get back into it, there's dust in this car, man, you guys tell could, could tell man I had to put air in the tires because you know, I really just don't drive this car much anymore um, I'm ready to start doing the interior on this car yes that's right I said it throughout this whole build of this car all these years of it being on the channel I have never touched the interior of this car besides you know like the gauges and stuff like that so I'm happy to say we finally got some new seats for the car and that's gonna be an uh, upcoming video. We're gonna be retrofitting some seats in this car. Uh, we're gonna be doing a rear seat delete, kind of clear, uh, clean it up in the back. Um, I might do a steering wheel, depends on how the seats look inside the car. Um, and we are going to be doing some racing here soon, guys. So just get ready for that. I'm really excited for it. Um, we have a lot of things to come on this car, man. I, I miss modding the car. I miss racing the car. Um, I feel like that's a big part of my life that I've been missing. And, you know, this car is me. I was just coming down from the stairs, getting the suction cup for the 
for the camera and I was just looking at the car like, man, this car is beautiful. Like, I could never bring myself to selling this car and having an S197 or S550 that just looks like every other car on the road, you know what I mean? And no shots if you guys have the, those cars because those cars are amazing. It's just these cars look really unique and it's me, you know what I mean? I'm an old school car freak at heart and I just love the look of an older car cars that you don't see on the road as much anymore like there is literally like probably only four SN95s in this city that I've seen out driving around and uh, I'm glad I, I could claim the crown that I had the cleanest one in the city uh, but yeah man we're ready to go we're ready to go full force and I just wanted to bring you a little driving vlog and update you guys on what's been going on and everything with the car like that uh, get it ready for the gym man I'm driving the car to the gym it feels good that I'm able to you know just cruise the car to the gym as far as the transmission and stuff guys while I was down I wasn't making any content I was still driving the car for once in a while you know what I mean keep the fluids going uh, keep fresh gas in it and stuff like that um, before we go and race it or do any pools with it because I haven't done any nitrous pools in a long time we're gonna be doing that too because I missed the feel of it and I have some draggy data from the F-150 and a lot of people were wondering if this car would have beat the F-150 and the F-150's trim and the F-150 was it wasn't gutted it was full weight whenever it did the uh, I think it did 12.6 yeah it did a 12.6 with me and Phil in the truck and I could compare the 60 to 100 times because we're probably not going to be able to hook in the car but we're going to go ahead and do that soon we'll go ahead go out and do some uh, draggy hits on the street with this car and see what it puts down versus the truck kind of like a little virtual drag race um, so I'm excited to see those numbers and excited to see what kind of uh, what kind of numbers it puts down versus the truck this box truck in front of me is, brake lights are dead I almost just ran into it I've been thinking about cutting the mufflers off again uh, you guys know I'm always swapping the freaking exhaust on this car I miss it being loud I miss hearing the chop so I've been thinking about cutting the mufflers off again and doing the long tube headers H pipe dumps um, or I have the I have the I have the original tail pipes for the car so I was thinking about cutting the mufflers out doing a straight pipe and doing the tailpipes out the back and putting the tips on my dad got me these four inch tips they look really nice chrome tips like two or three years ago guys for christmas a long time ago and they just been sitting in the garage they're still clean uh so let me know what should i do leave the car how it is kind of tame kind of you know what i mean it's it's chill for like a daily driver should i cut the exhaust off and do dumps like i had it before stupid loud chops and it sounds great or should I do the long tube headers, H pipe, straight pipe, tail pipes all the way back with the four inch tips out the back. Let me know, I've been thinking about going back to the tips. Um, I don't really care about the whole weight reduction thing anymore. That's the reason I did the dumps in the first place. So I've been thinking about going back to having tail pipes in the car. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and drop a like for your boy on this video if you guys are still watching and uh, I appreciate all the OGs. Um, and just to let you guys know man, if y'all don't know, I do have a Patreon, you know, it helps out the channel a ton. It helps me keep on pushing out these videos, helps out with the build and stuff like that. If you guys want to go down below and check it out, it's in the first link in the description below. Uh, early access to all videos. I drop videos every single Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, you guys will get the video the day before if you get the Patreon plan that that offers that. One-on-one um, -on -one talks with me, uh, advice, stuff like that. I have a bunch of guys messaging me on Instagram and I can't get to all of you guys, but I do try my best. Um, but yeah, if you guys are on that Patreon, if you guys go on the patreon i greatly appreciate it man it helps out the channel a ton helps me out a ton and uh gives me that motivation and keep keep me pushing man and keep me going so if you guys do that i greatly appreciate it i'm not sure if
if you hear that squeaking in the back. It squeaks more as I accelerate. It's something in the braking system, guys. I uh, It's in the rear brakes also. I took the brakes apart, greased all the pins, greased the sliders, I greased everything, and it stops. And then within 100 miles or so, it comes back. And I already just gotten tired of trying to chase it, so I'm just leaving it. It's not doing anything but annoying me, so. It's fine, just like that. I need to put this freaking rear view mirror back on. The mirror fell off a while back and I still have not put it back on. I need to do that as well. I have it in the back somewhere. But yeah, I'm about to pull up right now guys to get this pump in. Uh, I'll pick the camera right back up whenever I get back and we'll show you a little bit outside of the car, updates on the car, and we'll wrap up this video. See you guys in a bit. What's going on guys? As y'all can tell, we're back with the car and I just did some spirited driving with the car, man. Just whipping through the lanes and stuff like that. And dude, I could really never see myself getting rid of this freaking car, man. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, man, this thing, I love this car, man. I just love the classic looks of it and everything like that. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below, guys, if y'all think I should put the tips back on it or should I leave it dumped? Uh, go back with the straight pipe, make it loud again because it's not too loud now with the SLP loudmouth 2s. You can't really hear the uh, cams and stuff like that, but I'm really stoked for the interior upgrade. Now that we are going to be doing some seats, as you guys can tell, these things are a much needed upgrade. When someone sits in here, the whole seat's just moving back and forth. It's just, you know, it's time now to uh, upgrade the seats. And it's the same thing with the driver's side. You guys can tell this is fully bolted down the whole seat just moves around like that you guys can tell how uncomfortable and stuff that is so uh yeah if you guys are stoked for all the future content that i have with the car drop a like down below and if this is this is your first time uh viewing this video hit that subscribe button we have a ton more to come a lot of racing stuff to come and uh you know i'm just really stoked to see what is in store for the car and i'm really stoked to see them seats mounted in the car so that's coming later this week it's your boy 4.6 chris man we'll get up out of here and we'll see you guys on the next video tuesday 5 30 central standard time be there we'll see you guys later man peace out i am girl in my dreams i said i know it in my dreams i said i know it in my dreams i said i know that i can so baby please don't let me blow it begging please don't let me blow it you can't do this but i know that i can girl in my dreams i said i know it in my dreams i said i know it